Hey everyone, I'm Meredith, Community Lead at Oasis Foundation. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. Welcome to Episode 5 of Oasis Insights, a monthly video series where we take the very best questions from the community and answer them. We've got a lot to cover today, so let's get started. Question 1. How does Oasis protect privacy despite T vulnerabilities? Questions around T's and their security have been raised in light of the recently documented APIC exploit and disclosure about how it could be used to attack other blockchain networks. We've been asked by our community how this vulnerability affects Oasis network, and we're happy to shed some light on the matter. First, it's important to note that the Oasis network does not rely on T's for ensuring data integrity, including token balances. So T vulnerabilities will never threaten the data integrity on Oasis network. We published a blog that explains the vulnerability, how we mitigate the risk it poses, and why we believe that T's still offer the best trade-off in terms of flexibility, usability, and confidentiality. But here's the TLDR. First, there is no risk of loss of funds on Oasis Network due to T vulnerabilities. Second, the Oasis Network is secure against the aforementioned APIC vulnerability and attacks. Third, Oasis has a unique state-of-the-art defense and depth design that minimizes privacy risks from T vulnerabilities. Finally, we continue to develop our cutting edge security and privacy technologies to push the industry forward. Question two, is Deco a competitor of Sapphire? We've seen a lot of community engagement regarding the decentralized Oracle product Deco and whether or not it's a competitor to Sapphire. Deco is a privacy preserving Oracle technology which uses zero knowledge proofs and allows data transmitted over the internet to be confidentially attested to Oracles without the data being revealed to the public or to the Oracle node themselves. Sapphire is a confidential smart contract platform which enables smart contract execution the same as any other EVM network, but with the added ability for those smart contracts to also be built in ways that hide aspects of state. There may be some overlap in the capabilities of these two technologies, but they are much more synergistic than competitive. Deco focuses on bridging off-chain data on-chain in a privacy-preserving manner, while Sapphire's use case is to enable on-chain smart contract execution to now be able to incorporate confidentiality. Just as Deco by itself is unable to come to consensus and execute a confidential smart contract, Sapphire, Sapphire by itself is also unable to use off-chain data without an oracle. Privacy is becoming a major theme in crypto recently, and we are really excited to see so many protocols being developed which share the same vision as Oasis of a responsible data economy. Hopefully, we'll see many projects built on the network soon which leverage something like Deco as well as Sapphire to build truly end-to-end -end decentralized and privacy-preserving applications. Question three, are there any potential use cases for the Oasis privacy layer? The first use case that we've been talking about is secret ballot for DAOs. DAO governance bias is often associated with on-chain voting due to being able to view how prominent community members have voted or by viewing the real-time voting results. The OASIS privacy layer enables DAOs on any network to implement an entirely on-chain and trustless governance solution. Another case we see for the OASIS privacy layer is for NFT collections and marketplaces. When a popular NFT collection is minted, there's often a lot of congestion on the blockchain and therefore gas is wasted as people compete to mint the collection. Using the OASIS privacy layer, NFT marketplaces and collections can now implement more efficient auction mechanisms like second price auctions, which offer far better user experiences, gas efficiency, price discovery, and it avoids the entire issue of gas wars and network congestion. Finally, we believe that the Oasis privacy layer will vastly imp improve Web3 gaming. Currently, blockchain games are required to keep a large portion of the game off-chain due to secrecy in gaming and games of chance, which is less than ideal for the Web3 ethos. A simple way we envision the privacy layer being used is demonstrated in the game we built called Wordalish. You can play it in the link in the description below. By using the Oasis privacy layer, applications on any network can add this type of confidential game logic to their platform. Question four, what happens when staking APY goes to 0% in 2024? In 2024, when the staking rewards go to 0%, the Oasis network should be robust enough that the transaction fees alone will incentivize validators to secure the network. However, there are multiple other possible solutions to add more incentives, which we're exploring at the moment. Stay tuned for more updates. Well, that wraps up this month's episode of Oasis Insights. We hope that you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like this video, leave us a comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you have a question that you want to see answered on our next episode of Oasis Insights, be sure to leave it below. Thanks, everyone!